Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us the truth and who rule well. Peace and love, salutations and mercy be unto you, hopeful elect. You Akim, if you are Kwathi, and I'm subscribing to this truth. All right, who believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with your whole hearts. Your minds, your bodies, uh, your souls. All right, and are waiting for these last prophecies to happen in the earth and the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right, which is going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, so you Edomites, you don't get to be devils, you know, on the side and, you know, persecuting and afflicting the children of Israel and just convert to Christianity, all right, and just. You know, walk your way into the kingdom. All right. Salvation is only for the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. All right. And then all Israel will be saved, man. All right. But but on this go round, there's there's going to be all right, one third of the nation of Israel that's left behind. All right. Which means that they're a remnant that is preserved from the destruction or right, the annihilation all right, that is that is getting ready to be decreed. All right, and we understand, according to uh, Zechariah 13 and 8, uh, that two-thirds of the nation of Israel will be cut off. All right, but Yahweh is going to leave a remnant, which is the one-third of the nation of Israel, which consists of the holy prophets, uh, the 144,000, and the innumerable multitude. All right, what is the true meaning behind our right, left behind? All right, left behind, according to the scriptures, is a remnant that is preserved. All right, left behind, according to Esau and his B-rated movies, all right, represents all right, individuals that were not all right, delivered in the rapture, all right, which the rapture is something that is made up. All right, you don't just get to be another nation and convert into Christianity, and now you just, you just join or joint heirs with the children of Israel. All right, the scripture says that the, the second covenant all right, the first and the second covenant were for the children of Israel only. All right, not for you other nations. All right, so salvation is for the seed of Israel. Matter of fact, here's a scripture all right, that proves that. The book, book of Joel, the second chapter, and the verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh, all right, and Yahweh Shai, shall be delivered for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as Yahweh have said, and in the remnant whom Yahweh shall call. See, right now, by way of this gospel being preached, all right, there is a remnant that's being called unto salvation through Yahweh Shai. All right, and they're going to believe upon Yahweh Shai. They're going to repent in the name of Yahweh Shai until salvation. All right, continuing until the end. And they're going to be the first ones to inherit all right, the glory of the kingdom of heaven, all right, immortality and new bodies, all right, spiritual powers. But those of you that are Israelites that are contentious, all right, which means... All right, let's let's look up the word contentious, and I'm going to grab it according to uh, what it says in the Greek. Bear with me, Baba Kasha. The word contentious. I'm trying to grab it. The word there means to excite, excite, to, to stir up, all right, to stimulate, to provoke. All right, because that is, that is exactly what this word do. The scripture says that I, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah will give us a mouth, all right, of wisdom that none of our, our adversaries shall be able to gainsay nor resist. So when we speak these words, all right, people get stirred up, man. All right, they get stirred up against this truth.
And there's a lot of jakes, all right, that are stirred up against Yahawashah. All right, they're stirred up against the book, which is the Bible. They don't believe that there's, uh, uh, that this book is an actual book that is inspired by the Most High Heavenly Father. All right, a lot of you jakes, you don't even believe in the Most High Heavenly Father. And you got some that believe in the Bible, all right, but they believe in plantation Christianity. So they're contentious against what is the truth. And the truth is that we're Israelites and Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, only came to save the Israelites. So Romans 2 and 8, it says, but unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that do of evil to the Jew first and also the Gentile. All right. But glory, honor and peace to every man that work of good to the Jew first and also to the Gentiles. So what this is speaking about, this is speaking about Israelites, both the Jew all right, and then the Gentile in this regard is, is speaking about Israelites. All right, you had Israelites that knew that they were Israelites, and you had Israelites that came back into the knowledge, all right, of the truth by way of this light being shined. So this gospel is being preached, all right, and it's being preached in the name of Yahweh, so that whomsoever will believe upon him, all right, that are part of the elect, that are part of the remnant, will receive salvation. All right, you got so many Christians in the earth right now, and they're thinking that they're just going to be safe, all right, just because they all right, believe in Jesus Christ. In order to be saved, you have to be a part of Yahweh's election. All right, you have to be a part of the elect, and the elect are only the nation of Israel, only. Ephesians 1 and 4, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us, predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai uh, Mashiach to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. So he uses the word adoption, right? Who are the only ones to whom the adoption pertained to? All right, the book of Galatians 4 and 4, 4, it says, But when the fullness of the time was come, Yahweh sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And the word adoption means to choose. So who were the ones that were under the law? All right, those are the ones that will receive the adoption. So that's Israelites. That's the Israelites only. Romans, the ninth chapter, in verse 4, it says, Who are Israelites to whom pertain of the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the services of, of the promise and the service of Yahweh and the promises? All right, whose are the fathers and of whom... As concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came, all right, who is over all, Yahweh blessed forever, Amon. So the adoption is only for the Israelites. So out of the Israelites, there's an election, all right, who's going to believe upon Yahweh Shai. And when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to order them that are left behind, all right, which means that he's going to guide them, all right, he's going to deliver them. Second Ezra 13 and 8, 18. Now understand, I now understand I the things that are laid up in the latter days, which shall happen unto them and to those that are left behind. All right, therefore are they come into great perils and many necessities, like as the dreams declare. Yet it is easier for him that is in danger to come into these things than to pass out as a cloud out of the world. And not to see the things that happened in the last days. And he answered me, answered unto me and said, all right, because there's a, there's not, all right, there, there's a reason to why there's so many people upon the planet earth right now. All right, because they're here preserved until the day of judgment and wrath. All right, and they're going to be judged according to their deeds, whether their deeds be good or whether they be evil and wicked. 
the interpretation of the vision shall I shew thee, and I will open unto thee the thing that thou hast required. Whereas thou hast spoken of them that are left behind, this is the interpretation. He that shall endure the peril in that time have kept himself. All right, they that be fallen into dangers are such as have works and faith towards the Almighty. See, see it's going to be through your faith, all right, and through your works in which you're going to receive salvation. The book of uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, in verse 7, And every one that shall be saved, all right, and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith where, whereby he have belief. So what are those works? Those works is living according to the fruit of the Spirit and not according to the fruit of the flesh. All right, doing that which is acceptable in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh First starting with believing on him through his son Yahweh Shai. All right, re repenting. All right, acknowledging your faults. All right, living according to those two great commandments all right, that we were given, which is to love the Most High Heavenly Father with your whole bo heart, mind, body, and soul, and to love your neighbor the same. All right. They're going to be full with the Holy Spirit and with integrity. All right. They're going to endure the peril, peril, the dangers. All right. But they're going to be kept within integrity to believe unto the end, not receiving Esau's carnal mark, not bowing down and worshiping the image of the beast. All right. Not receiving Esau's Maxine. All right. But they're going to uh, patiently endure the hell that is placed upon them. All right, so that they can uh, uh, show their faith and piety towards Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Verse 24, know this, therefore, that they which be left behind are more blessed than they that be dead. Now, that weak B-rated movie expresses something else. All right, it, it expresses that those that are left behind are those that are left behind. From the salvation of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But it's really the other way around within the scriptures. Those that are left behind is a remnant to be saved. Verse 26. The same is, is, is he whom the most high, the highest have kept a great season. Which is speaking about Yahweh Shai. Which by his own self shall deliver his creature. And shall order them that are left behind. Alright. Because it's going to be Yahweh Shai. Are who send forth the angels to gather the elect from the four corners of the earth, wherever they be scattered. Now jumping down to verse 48, but those that be left behind of thy people are they that have that are found within my borders. Now, when he destroyed the multitude of the nations that are gathered together, he shall defend his people that remain. So that is the definition of that. All right, the people that are going to be defended. All right, are, um, he, like it says, he shall defend his people that remain. Because eventually thermonuclear missiles are going to be shot. All right, and, and 200 million nuclear warheads are going to be detonated. And he's going to have to hurry up and deliver them. All right, from that destruction. All right, the nations are going to be gathered together in World War III, and eventually those missiles are going to be shot. And even before those missiles are shot, you know, Esau is going to come in like a flood. And things are going to be so bad in the earth that we're going to have to have Michael the Archangel stand up to deliver and defend us. And then eventually the thermonuclear missiles are going to be shot. And when those missiles are shot, there's going to be an annihilation. All right. The scripture says within the book of Isaiah, the 10th chapter and beginning at the 21st verse, verse, it says the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty, mighty power. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. For, for Yahweh power of hosts shall make a consumption even determined in the midst of all the land. Now to deal with the word remnant here. Which the word there is uh, Sha'ar. 
It says uh, rest, residue, remnant, remainder. Now, if you go to the root word, the word there is to remain, be left over, be left behind. So the remnant of Israel, all right, the elect, are going to be the ones that are preserved and left behind from the destruction that is happening in the earth by thermonuclear destruction and all the hell that break loose in the earth. All right, eventually, all right, Yahweh Shai is going to uh, send them, you know, help. All right, he's going he's gonna to come with the angels and gather them from the four corners of the earth. The book of Isaiah, the first chapter in the ninth verse. Because the word Sha'ar can also mean to survive. Now there's another word that means the same thing within the Hebrew. All right, for remnant, the word there is um, Sharyad. All right, Sharyad. And it says survivor, remnant, that which is left, survivor. The root word of that is sharad, which means to escape and survive. So the survivors of all of the calamities and the destruction that's going to go down in the earth, all right, is going to be the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, not you other nations, although, you know, different nations are going to be preserved. You know, different people from different nations are going to be preserved. All right, but these other nations are going to go into captivity. So the word consumption in Isaiah, the, the 10th chapter, and the 23rd verse is dealing with thermonuclear destruction. The word there is kal, uh, kala, and it says completion, termination, full end, complete destruction, consumption, annihilation. And this thermonuclear destruction is going to bring about the end of Esau Edom, as well as the chariots coming to fight against Esau Edom. That's going to bring them down. All right. So when these chariots come, all right, they're coming in duality. They're coming to destroy and take down Esau Edom and to fight against the rest of these nations in World War Three. All right. Because Yahweh Shai and the angels are going to come and fight against these other nations in World War Three. Eventually, those nukes are going to be shot off and the Yahweh Shai is going to send forth the angels to gather the elect from the four corners of the earth, all right, wherever they be scattered, so that they are not destroyed within this destruction that is coming. The book of Isaiah, the 24th chapter, verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the power of the heaven shall, sh shall be shaken. All right, so this is speaking about the event when those missiles actually hit. All right, when they detonate in the earth, all right, there's going to be so much ash and debris that it's going to block out the sun. All right, it's going to block out the moon. It's going to block out the light. All right, in the middle of a daytime, it'll make it look pitch black from all of the dust and debris and the ash that is kicked up into the, into the atmosphere. All right. And it says, the heavens shall be shaken. There's another scripture in Isaiah 24 and 20 that says that the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Reading on, verse 30, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet that they may gather together the elect from the four winds and from the ends of the heavens, from one end of the heaven to the other. Now, someone can make an argument and say, okay, well, the rapture is for all Christian believers. All right, that's not true, man. Because Esau says that he's a Christian. All right, they believe in, in, in Christianity, but there's no salvation for Esau, Edom. Esau isn't going to be on the chariots. He's not going to get delivered when Yahweh Shah comes. All right, the true elect is the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, which is so, uh, consists of the elect so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, because they are the true children of Israel, whether they be in North, Central, or South America, or scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. The book of Sirach, the 47th chapter, 
and beginning at the 17th verse. And Salat, bear with me, Baba Kashad, beginning at the um, the 22nd verse. It says, But Yahweh will never leave off his mercy, neither shall any of his works perish. All right, neither will he abolish the posterity of his elect, because he got something called replacement, all right, uh, um, replacement theology, you know, or, or um, I forget exactly the name of it. But basically saying that the Israelites were replaced. All right. And now the Gentiles can be safe. All right. Yahweh, it says, neither shall any of his works perish. So the Israelites are, are, aren't going all the, all the way. They're not completely destroyed. And it says, neither will he abolish the posterity of his elect. So he's not going to do away with them. All right. But there's, a, there's a, a, an election. All right. According to uh, grace. Out of the children of Israel that's going to be saved. And the seed of him that loveth him, he will not take away. Wherefore he gave a remnant unto Jacob, and out of him a root unto David. So the children of Israel, all right, is Yahweh's elect, but out of the elect, there is an elect. All right, out of the elect, there is an elect. As it states right here within the book of Romans, all right, the 11th chapter, and beginning at the fourth verse. But what said the answer of Yahweh unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so, then at this pre present time, there's a remnant according to the election of grace. All right, and if, and if by grace, then it is no more of works, and otherwise grace is no more, more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace, otherwise works it is no more works. And what this is speaking on, that you're not going to be saved by the works of the law alone. You're not going to be saved by your own righteousness. All right, Yahweh Shai became righteousness for us. All right, by way of being that atonement, that propitiation for us to take away our sins, and reconcile us into the heavenly father. All right. Now only the elect can believe that. And will believe that. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election have obtained it. And the rest were blinded. So the elect is going to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the elect is going to be delivered. All right. From the destruction. The consumption. That's getting ready to take place in the earth. And they're going to be that. They are that remnant. All right. You keep hearing about the remnant. They're the remnant. All right. You other nations will not be a part of, of the salvation of the nation of Israel. All right. Which when that thermonuclear destruction happens in the earth. All right. They're going to be. They're going to ascend up into heaven in a great cloud. The book of Revelations, the 11th chapter in the 11th verse, and after three days and in half, the spirit of Yahweh, the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them that saw them. All right, because Esau spent all right, billions of dollars all right, trying to keep this knowledge from us. All right, he thought he did a good job of keeping us ignorant and not knowing who we are or who our power is, whose name is Yahweh and who his son is. All right, they've tried, you know, through great measures all right, to keep us from receiving this truth, but it's not up to him. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh poured out the Holy Spirit upon us, all right, and allowed us to believe. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither, and that hither is into the chariots, all right, the chariots of salvation. And they ascended up into, a, in, uh, up into heaven in the cloud, and their enemies beheld them. All right, as it states within uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, that they shall behold the strangeness of our salvation. In the same hour, there was a great earthquake and the tenth part of the city fell. All right, and the earthquake was slain of men, a uh, 7,000 and a remnant were affrighted and gave glory unto Yahweh. So that remnant is the elect all right, that are survivors from the from the uh, the catastrophes that that are getting ready to happen in the earth. All right, within the day of the Lord.
So this elect are going to be taken up, you know, men and women. Because they're going to be women that are a part of the elect that are saved too. Matthew the 24th chapter, verse 40. Then shall uh, two be left in the field, and the one shall be taken, and the other left. Two women shall be grinding the mill at the mill, and the one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour our your Lord doth cometh. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have he would have watched and would have not suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. So Yahweh is going to come, and when he come, you best be ready, which means that you better be watching and praying, all right, especially if you want to, to receive salvation. 1 Thessalonians 4 and 17 then we, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet Yahweh Shai in the air, and so shall we ever be with Yahweh Shai. All right, because immediately, as soon as those missiles are coming down, it don't take that long, you know, for them to reach the side of the earth or whatever destination they're going to. They're going to come very fast. All right, this place will be destroyed in one hour, as it says within Revelation. So something is going to have to happen for the elect, that remnant, which, which are left behind, all right, the survivors of the nation of Israel, to be seized and carried off by force, all right, to be snatched away so that they don't get destroyed within the destruction that is coming upon this place. All right, all hell is getting ready to break loose. And while it's breaking loose, all right, the, the elect are going to be here. But as soon as things get too bad, all right, and when those missiles are getting ready to hit, that's when they're going to be delivered out of this place so that they don't get tormented within the destruction that's coming upon this place. So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying until the next time. Inshallah.